Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in the previous video where we did a review on the Heeltech quick shifter system, I did notice that my uh, temperature gauge was fluctuating a little bit and I think I had a little bit of an air pocket in the uh, water cooling system uh, of the engine um, because I just completed a service on it, did the oil and filter, did a coolant flush, uh, flushed the brakes and refilled them with fresh brake fluid front and rear, just the chain, all that sort of fun stuff. It was really good fun actually. Um, but I came home and I had a look and I saw that the uh, coolant reservoir was low um, in coolant wasn't where it should be at its at its high level so um, what I thought I'd do is I'll um, I'll flick the video the camera around and I'll show you how to check the coolant real quickly on the 2019 2020 I guess all of the Katana 1000 GSX 1000s um, and hopefully it might help you guys um, do a little bit of tinkering yourself and uh, it's a really simple process so um, we'll get cracking now okay so the coolant reservoir bottle sits down in behind here in the back here um, so we have to get removed this little shroud here which is just two bolts one and two and once we get that off then we take this inner shroud off and then we can get to the uh, the reservoir cap um, filler hole um, to fill it up with some coolant I do have some coolant here for the bike uh, a couple of spanners just a allen key and a uh, plastic removal tool for the little clips um, and I've also just got a like a syringe type uh, scenario just to easily uh, pour the coolant into the reservoir bottle without making a mess everywhere. So without further ado we'll make a start and um, see how we go. So we just take these two Allen bolts out, just loosen them off like so and we'll spin them out. So one and two now there's a little locating tab just in on the inside of the shroud here so just gently give it a little wiggle and that's the little locating tab there with the rubber be careful that one doesn't slip off and go missing in the garden and it just goes inside this little uh, tab just here just to keep it nice and tight and then we've got a, um, a plastic tab here another plastic tab just at the top here I'll show you here just that one there as well and that one so we're going to remove those two and then we've got another allen bolt here and another allen bolt here we disconnect this hose line from out of here which I've already done and uh, this shroud will come off then this bolt out and the one at the front just like so now as you can see the coolant level that's the low level line there that's the high level line so it's taken a little bit of water from the reservoir and topped it up into the radiator and just here I'll get the camera right just here is where the um, where we fill up the coolant so well, this is just a rubber grommet from what of a better term I'll just pop that out like so and that's the grommet there focus camera there we go pretty simple setup at the end of the day all right I'll um I'll set up the uh, the syringe in the little hose and poke it down. We'll top it up with some coolant. Okay, so I've got my little reservoir bottle here with a bit of hose on the end. I'm just going to pop that down the hole there. You could use a funnel or something like that as well, but I found this just as easy. Um, and then I just give it a little top up. So I'm just going to hold this up a little bit higher. And we're going to fill it up to the full level like it says in the workshop manual. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Getting close. All 
Hard side. And I'll have a look at the level of it. I'll just so I'm just going to um, lift the bike up a little bit to see where the level's at. I'm going to shoot the bike is level. And it is bang on the high level mark. Like so, as per the workshop manual. Happy days. So now we just uh, reinstall the uh, grommet, the radio, uh, the reservoir bottle cap grommet. And that pushes down. You've got to make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom and really seats in. Like so. And now it's a sealed unit other than with this overflow pipe just here. So that one's in nice and good. And really just the, um, the process of putting it back together is the reverse of um, pulling it all apart. So we start with our little shroud and work out the orientation. So there's a hole there and that's the hole there for the, um, for the clip. I'm just going to connect the hose here first while it's nice and easy. And we'll get a plastic screw. There's the hole there. Plastic screw, plastic tab. I should say it's not actually a screw as such. I'll just get that inside that one. We'll locate that onto the metal hole. They're just there. We we'll clip that one in. And then we put the second one in, just give it a little flex. Pop him in and push it in. That locks it in. And we make sure we use the, the correct bolts. So these are the shorter ones. Focus there. There we go. And we'll put them in loosely by hand first. And then we'll tighten them up with the, um, the Allen key spanner. Or wrench. Or wherever you come from in the world. This one here, I think you just got to line up just a little bit. So don't grab onto the plastic incorrectly okay. spin that one back on and we'll spin this one back on give it a little, little tweak don't have to go full gorilla on them They're just holding on to a bit of plastic really at the end of the day plus you've got these two clips here so you, you don't have to go berserk with it hose is connected into there oh, got a little bit of cooling on the on the panel here, tidy that up. Okay, so what we can do now, as you can see the locating hole there for this tab here. So if we just offer that one up, just like so, and feed it in, and it should just come up and over this um, plastic uh, reservoir cover. And it pretty much holds it there. So what we can do, swallow with one hand and then with the other hand we'll put a bolt onto the end of the Allen key like so and you can see down the bottom here get it through the rubber stabiliser first and just put it in a few turns don't tighten it up just yet we'll put the second one in like so line it up to the hole and give it a few turns in. I think I'm in. No, not quite next. Let's try it that way. There we go. Like so. And tighten this one up. Oops, sorry about that. Bump the camera. So give it a little tweak. Double check, little tweak. And now the coolant reservoir is all filled up at the correct levels as per the workshop manual. Oh, a bit hot in the shed here today. Yeah, unbelievable. So there we go. That's how we uh, top off the, um, the coolant reservoir on a 2019 Suzuki Katana GSX-1000S. What a mouthful that is, eh? Um, fairly simple job to do. You don't need any real special tools or anything like that. So that's happy days. Thing to note though, when I go out for another ride again, which I hopefully will be really soon, um, check it again uh, when I come back home to see if it's dropped again, just in case there are any air bubbles in there or not. 
I've bled it and burped it, the cooling system here and all that sort of stuff, ran it up to temperature for the thermostat kicks in and everything like that. And I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it was jumping up and down just a little bit, but towards the end of the ride today, it seemed to have stabilised out quite good. So obviously it's taken a little bit of coolant out of the reservoir bottle, topped it up into the cooling system. So that seems to have worked out all right. Um, so as far as I know, everything's happy days with, um, with the Katana. That's it for today's video. If you found it helpful or interesting or anything like that, could you give it a thumbs up for me and also consider subscribing to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated for plenty more videos turning up on um, RevMatch Sonic. <laughs> Put my teeth in, eh? On RevMatch 1970. You guys have a great day and um, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.